another pretty exciting episode of upcoming mods. This is a series where I show you guys some currently work in progress mods by different mod authors in the community that are even pretty diverse list. We have some weapon mods, we have some power armor mods, some housing mods, really covering a lot of the different bases here and some of them are never before seen or really announced mods that I'm only showing you for the first time now. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy the content, I encourage you to consider subscribing. You can leave a like down below if you're not subscribed. I do post a series pretty regularly about a few times a week, so if you like this kind of content, you'll see more of it that way. Starting things off, we actually have a pretty interesting new armor. This is something I've been talking a lot about is the addition of military armors into Fallout 4. This particularly is going to be a Chinese Type 3 Plateau camouflage. It was made by a guy named Viper. He does say he is not totally done with this. It is still a work in progress, so definitely some more updates coming, although as of right now, it looks really high quality. It looks very similar to some of the things we do see in some of the mods like Modern Firearms. Not really sure how this is going to be distributed, whether in another mod, whether as a standalone mod. He doesn't give details on that, and he doesn't really have any work in progress mods of his own. But again, as I was saying, I really think this will be a good addition to the game. We don't have many modern military outfits in Fallout 4 as compared to the amount of modern military weapons that are available, and I think kind of balancing that out a little better, or at least having some options on the outfit side would be very good. And frankly, this armor and camouflage type does look pretty cool. It's definitely something that I would personally use on my character or even some of my companions, I think. So we actually have a new work in progress player home mod by Eleonora. She actually does say in the post of this, which is on Twitter, that's going to be released very soon, possibly later today or tomorrow. So you might actually have this out on Nexus right now. If you go check, it's not out while I'm recording this, but I will post in the comments if it is out when I'm uploading it. This is a pretty cool player home. It actually has a lot of like kind of fishing memorabilia, some different buoys and nets around. It definitely seems like something that might be in Far Harbor. I know Eleonora was posting some other pictures from Far Harbor on her Twitter, so I think that would make a lot of sense. But again, I really really like this player home. It just seems kind of cool. I like the theme behind it. It has some skulls and other things from Fallout in addition to that fishing memorabilia. I think what I really enjoy about this one is the vibes a bit different than some of the other player homes Eleonora has created. This one just kind of feels and looks a little bit different. Definitely a pretty cool one. I'm excited to see this one in game, especially to find out where the location is, but all around again, yeah, a pretty cool one. Something I'll probably end up using. So we do have some new animations for the M1 Garand. This is more or less just a personal project by Hitman. It's not going to be an official replacer for the existing animation because they are pretty good. It is for the M1 Grand by Axis. Comparing the animations in the video, which you can find linked down below on Hitman's channel. He posts a lot of content. Definitely check it out. His are almost a little bit subtler and cleaner. It's very similar to the original animations. There are only a few differences there, but especially with the actual reload outside of the firing, you could notice that it just looks a little bit more polished than the older animations. Maybe we will see this as a replacer in the future, but again, if you even watch them side by side, they are extremely similar. I'll put in the older animations and then I'll play the newer ones after that and and you could judge for yourself. Personally, I like both of them. I think I might like Hitman's a little bit more. Regardless, again, it's just a passion project. Maybe we'll see it as a kind of additional release later on that will replace the existing ones, but still pretty high quality content nonetheless. So then one of the really exciting new updates we do have is to the Submersible Power Armor Redux. So more or less what we have here, again, are some of the new images of this and Sovereign Walvers is basically announcing that he is resuming work on this yet again. We have some very completed pictures of this. It definitely looks very cool and again, very complete. So the real cool and distinctive part about this is that the majority of this armor is now going to be kind of a cloth material. I imagine you'll still have appropriate stats because it is a power armor after all. I doubt you'll just get treaded through by different enemies, but it definitely looks very cool. It's something that we really have not seen at all with any power armor mods as of yet. In addition, the other pretty noticeable part is that backpack on the back. There's no super clear images in this gallery, but we definitely have seen some of it in the past. One of the big things with this Redux version, it seems like it's really more of a recreation of the Big Daddy from Bioshock. Yes, obviously it's kind of Fallout 4 eyes, but the initial one was kind of a recreation of it, but based on Fallout 4 power armor. This time, although yes, it still is obviously based on Fallout 4 power armor, it seems like it is kind of straying away from the power armor look for more of the Big Daddy look now. Personally, I think it looks really cool. It looks extremely unique, which is the part about that I really like. In addition, we also have some further updates that it's actually going to have a rapture location. So we have a few images of that. It's looking very promising. He does say it is still a work in progress. I imagine there's going to be a cool quest to go along with this. And for those of you wondering, the big sister, big sister armor is also going to be bundled with this, with this new location. Again, it really looks very cool. It is looking extremely promising. This is definitely going to be one of the most ambitious and kind of large scale power armor mods that are available right now. And one final little note he does that is he's probably going to work on this one until its completion. He says he doesn't want to take any more like long breaks and all that. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one. Definitely a pretty promising episode. There's only four mods this time, but I think we got some really high quality content. Let me know in the comments down below out of what I showed you, what was your favorite. Personally, I'm really loving that submersible power armor. As always, again, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later.